My name is Or Barakat. I play the bass and I write music. I'm talking about the new album I have coming out. It's called OB1. Kind of like I, a key moment in this process was uh, visiting Buenos Aires. I went to play Buenos Aires Jazz Festival. It was my first time coming back there as an adult. I haven't been there since childhood. And I, uh, I felt like I, I found like a, like a missing piece of, of my DNA, musically. And that kind of uh, affirmed a lot of my musical intuitions, like all kinds of rhythms, textures, aesthetics that I felt that I was attracted to, but I couldn't place really. I didn't really know where they're from, so I just felt like they were weird. <laughs> and I tried to change them. Uh, suddenly I realized where they're from. It was a kind of a strong affirmation of, uh, of my instincts and of my intuition. So that kind of opened up a process where I could just write for the first time in my life. I could uh, just let the music come out and not doubt it and just let it be what it is. And naturally enough, after I had like a certain body of work, I had a good number of tunes together, the band kind of presented itself. For the first time, I guess I didn't have to explain too much. Like they just, Gadi and Shach and Ziv, they, they saw what I wrote, but they saw beyond what I wrote. Like they really connected with what I was hearing or what I was feeling. Being a band leader for the first time was uh, a huge learning experience, actually, because I, I had kind of preconceived notions about what, what it would mean, because, you know, the band leaders I worked for were never bass players, naturally. I initially, I, I was like, maybe I need to be in the front and play a lot of solos and kind of make the band or about that. But I think a major kind of breakthrough or a major understanding that I had about the process is that I already know who I am as a musician and as a bass player and I know how I function in a band so that is my root or that's my center so uh, leading is an extension of that.